Hey there YouTubers, so I'm going to do a benchmark video here, i5-13600KF, we have 16 gigs of RAM, DDR5, 4800 MHz, the BIOS for this motherboard, which is the Aeros Extreme AX Z690 is F20, there's a F21, F22 available, I believe, um, yeah, there's the motherboard. We're using Windows 11. Now, interesting, you may not get anywhere near the same results as far as temperatures go. You may get higher or lower scores. Um, this whole 13th gen thing is incredible. Now, the reason I'm making this video is it's dedicated to this hardware, right? If I put the this same setup on my MSI Pro Z690, uh, this CPU cooler would not actually get it done uh interesting how that works now this is a noctua nhu 14s which uh, on some 13th gen motherboards you know you may not be able to uh keep the cpu cool during benchmarks but it'll work fine during gaming uh note it's also really ridiculously cold outside and the basement is uh sticking around 66 this morning all right so let's look at this and the only thing that you guys might have different i've set power limits all the way to unlimited um you know obviously you can adjust these if you're having temperature issues at least when you're doing benchmarks and you know depending on the motherboard undervolting may help as well uh it doesn't work i would say with every motherboard and sometimes some of these things are grayed out and next to you uh weird how that all works out so default settings interesting i forgot that uh previous video I did something else. Um, just trying to show people different ways that they could cool their, lower their temps. Um, 42. All right. Good that I caught this because otherwise. And so this should affect this temperature here. All right. Now we're good. We'll do uh, three benchmarks. Go ahead and run this one. So you'll see between the three benchmarks, the temperature should be within six to 10 degrees of each other. And this one is, is pretty ridiculously low. This the hardware was nice and cool. 69 degrees, Woo. That's, that's pretty amazing. 83.80, so that, that's actually a pretty good score for this thing. How much? Now my plans are, uh, since this CPU works good with this motherboard, is try out some other CPU coolers and do these same videos. Let's um, let's see. Do Cinebench R twenty. So you guys got those. Let me clear this out. And hit this. So this will use a little bit more power. Temperatures will get higher. 73 degrees so far.
and then back down. So now we'll go get all this information. So 74 was the high. Let's see what our score was. 95.10. So you can see uh, some previous history there. 13700K F or K, excuse me, that's what I had. And we bit more powerful than the 12900 with default settings. So figure if I overclock this, uh, we would be that much more ahead of the 12900, which was a $500 CPU. All right, let's clear this out. Close this one. Bring up our 20. Or 23, sorry. This one should get a little bit hotter than what the R21 was, R20 was. Um, or not. <laughs> so good news, you know, no power limit throttling, no thermal limit throttling. If, if it was summertime and I was on the second floor of this house, then it uh, might see obviously some higher temperatures. I'd have to probably put a couple space heaters in this room to get it to uh, summertime temps. All right, so you see 76, so it did get uh, to get up there and I think it's coming back down or maybe it isn't nope. still going still cranking And you know what? Oh no. All right. We screwed up. We want. We don't want that one. So obviously, we were running that and it did not thermal throttle. So now let's just go get the score. Let's cool this off a little bit though, because it's still a wee bit warm. And to show you this guys. Yeah, I used to do that 10 minute one, but it just it takes too long. And if it's not thermal throttle after a few minutes, it's not going to thermal throttle most likely. But, all right, so this thing's ready to go. Now we can get a score in less than a minute.
75. Let's see what the score was. 25,000. So significantly better than the 12700S and all these other CPUs that have been around for a while. Uh, there's a difference between it and the 13700K. So 5,000 uh, points or whatever. A good i9 dialed in 39, 40,000. So much bigger jump there as far as the score goes. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.